Hey, what are you ladies and my gents? I'm Steven Tosher, and sadly my mom can't be with us today, but it's actually pretty cool that it's kind of worked out this way because I'm doing an episode where I'm not cooking and I'm not going to burn the place down. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be looking at four different times of the day where we eat, which is breakfast, lunch, dinner per se, and our dessert. And I'm going to go through four of the worst things that I've ever heard of that you could have in a day that pretty much topples anywhere from seven to eight thousand calories in one day which I'm sure some of us have gone through or done before and hopefully this gets you super conscious as to what you're eating and how many calories is in each of those things. Alright so I'm going to start off here with this cup. This cup is a extra large French vanilla. French vanillas, I love them. I love the small and medium versions. I love getting a large and splitting it with someone to save money. But the extra large French vanilla that I'm going to be talk to you, talking to you about was hovering around 1200 calories. And that wasn't their full breakfast. That was a 600 calorie French vanilla that comes stock with, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's a 60 or 70 grams plus of sugar. And the person added 40 or sorry, four creams and four sugars to that as well. Can you believe that? A quad quad in a French vanilla. And not only that, they also had a cheese bagel with a two times serving of uh, herb and garlic cream cheese, if you can believe that. That would swell your breakfast meal to over 2,000 calories. And from what I understand, and this person has changed their ways, and props to you for doing that, but this was a 2,000 calorie a day meal that they did just about every day at work. And that was just the beginning of their day, I assume. It was something that they heavily loved. They, 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 it was just tasty to them. And you know what? There are a lot of things in this world tasty, but you have to think about it. That is sometimes 2,000 calories could be uh, somewhat like a child. That could be two days almost worth of food. It could be for like a bodybuilder that's like uh, a third or two thirds of their day. So you have to really kind of think about what you're having and the nutritional value behind it. It is like most of it was just sugar and like carbohydrates and that is just not cool for your body. All right, so moving from a story into a day-to-day -day thing, a grind that I've seen people go through is pizza. And not only is the pizza, it's the dipping sauce that goes along with it. Depending on the type of dipping sauce, you can get something that, you know, in a container this size, maybe it's 100 or 200 calories, or something this size that's five to 600 calories. I'm actually using the same container and the same sauce that I used from the last video, which will be at the end of this video. You'll be able to see that link. And this is uh, hovering around four to 500 calories sitting in here. Now. This cheese, uh, uh, this cheese conglomeration, I think it's got a hamburger pizza. This is a quarter of the pizza that's sold from the box. Now, if you think about pizzerias and places you go to, especially like a deep dish or a deep fried pizza, if you can believe that, the same quarter slice can balloon anywhere from around uh, five to 600 calories that this slice is, right, which is a quarter slice of that pizza, which is fairly small when you look at it in comparison to my hand. Some people will have something twice as big, maybe even three times, and We've all been there where we almost finished off a box of pizza. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I've done it before. But just think of it this way. Those pizzeria places, a deep dish, some of those slices, just slices alone, can be up to 1,500 to 2,000 calories. So be careful what you're putting into your body and the dipping sauce that goes along with it. On the flip side to that, there are some healthy pizzas, uh, pizzas that you know use really nice lean cheese, cheeses, uh, lots of like, uh, I think it's like a tortorelli uh, type um, uh, mozzarella and stuff like that, and those, you know, the same slices of pizza can be like two to 300 calories, okay? So be very, very careful about what you're putting in your body, especially at lunch when you just want to cram something down, something simple. All right, so this is my best construction of what is in the article below, which is a tuna melt. I'm not going to say which company it's from, but this tuna melt I made as healthy as possible uh, by, and still going along to around how many calories this actual meal was. Now, I have around uh, four servings of cheese on here. I have about one and a half of these uh, tumblerfuls of the, uh, the sauce. I have the tuna and again, and the, the ciabatta. And don't get me wrong, if you were to have the same meal and you were to like take out the the uh, the mayonnaise here and you were or the the dipping sauce here and if you were to take this ciabatta bun that's a whole grain whole wheat bun and sub it out for uh, white flour this meal on its own would be around 1700 to 1800 calories now if you took the sauce out and you weren't using a sauce that was like dripping everywhere right and you were putting a lot less cheese 
you're probably looking at around 1,000 calories and almost 100 grams of protein. So that's actually a, a pretty good heavy uh, meal after maybe like you've done a powerlifting day where you've done some deadlifts, some squats, a bench press. That's a cool idea with a massive salad, uh, maybe a protein shake. That's a cool idea. But you have to make, you have to get worried because a lot of these sub places will tell you this is a cool thing to have. But in actuality, if you're not reading the labels, you could run into some high amount of calories and set yourself back days, if not weeks, depending on how slow you burn calories. All right. Now, finally, the piece de resistance. 32 ounces to 40 ounces of this chocolate cookie uh, ice cream drink. And what this is, is really just sugar incarnate. There is milk, don't get me wrong, and I'm sure it's delicious in certain portions, but this extra large, I'm going to give you a second to guess. To guess. If you're sitting with someone, make, 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 a, make, a, make a salary bet or something like that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not 1,500 calories. It is not 2,000 calories. At one point, this drink was 2,600 calories. And I've tried my best to get to that level. Okay, 2,600 calories. And they say people will have it within five to 10 minutes of slurping it down. Not just a portion of that. They will eat that entire thing or drink it or whatever they're doing to their body. And if that is a once in a while thing, or like you go to a buffet once a month, that's one thing. But if it's like a daily ritual, like it was for the French vanilla over here, that's a problem. So ladies and gentlemen, you have to not only be wary of what you're having, okay, but where you're having it from. Because you could go to a, you know, mom and pop shop, and they might just make the, the greatest, you know, sandwich and it'd be like half the amount of calories as even one of the places that promote healthy living. You have to like look at the kind of food, think of the taste, uh, think of how oily it is or you know the way it's being prepared. Think of other foods on their menu. Are they going to really deviate from their norm to give you something that healthy? I just want you to think about that because again, a you can find a slice of pizza around the same size for 200 calories and minus the sauce or you can go for a thousand calorie fix. This you can go from anywhere from I'd say 700 to up to 2,000, depending on what you put on it after, and if you add on extra sauces. And come on, ladies and gentlemen, something called moderation and portion size. Something over here, a drink, a drink that you should be just having. You know, you should be having delicious water, maybe a tea, or if you have a coffee, you know, maybe one cream, one milk, one sugar. These are just thoughts that I, I'm hoping that are kind of going through your brain right now and hopefully, hopefully, the next time you make a decision you think, wow, how much work is that going to be? This, ladies and gentlemen, at 2300 calories for myself is around six to eight hours of walking and or sprinting. So I'll leave you with that. If you have a comment or question, drop it in the comment section below. If you think I'm totally wacko and you'll eat this all day, that's cool. I'm all right with it. Drop it down there as well. If you want to check out the website or uh, anything that pertains to the video and the interesting article about the top 30 worst foods to get, I essentially in North America from restaurants, you will see that in the description. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Eat and live healthy and just take the time to look at the things that you are putting into your body. Have a wonderful day, evening, morning, or night. God bless. Oh yeah, and if you like what I'm doing, please tweet, tumble, like, share, thumbs up, plus, pin, or do whatever you do, and please subscribe.